What's going on, everybody? Doc and Sloth, we're back. We're jumping into a little bit of control. PvP, Destiny 2. I've got the sweet business, and I'm going to deliver some sweet business there, Sloth. <laughs> I hope so, because this, this map on control is entirely broken. Yeah. So use that sweet bi bidness. It's I don't know why I want to say bidness, but I did. See how this thing works here. I cannot shoot this. This thing recoils Thing. It's not bad though. Not the greatest damage I've ever seen. But... Um, so in this video, here's what we're talking about. Uh, Destiny 2 TwitchCon 2017 literally just happened hours ago. And uh, there was a ton of news spoiled, not spoiled, talked about, um, about Destiny 2 <laughs> season release, release discussed. Um, about Destiny 2 Seasons, about uh, just everything that's going on in the game. And I'm super excited for it. I hope you're super excited. Yeah, Ooh, it's actually going to be very interesting with the the whole uh, release of the information that we are going to have Seasons in Destiny 2. Yes. So, four total Seasons uh, throughout the course of the year. We are actually currently in Season 1. Um and they are going to run no specified timeline on how long they are going to be, how long they're going to run. Um, but that's uh, really how it's kind of setting up. Throw this here shield down. I'm going to grab this here power ammo. Um, and just a ton of stuff. Yeah. Um, so the seasons, uh, they're going to swap up a bunch of different stuff. So they're going to be bringing in um, different events throughout the course. Uh, I would honestly expect to see Although they didn't say this, we'll obviously see different raids, things like that. Um, we'll see all the stuff that we, you know, you know, old school, you know, the original Destiny players probably saw and, and were a part of. Uh, but we get a lot of new stuff too. Um, we get uh, we get to see, you know, the new events or rehashed events come in with new gear, new equipment. Um, just a whole bunch of new stuff. We're going to see the Bright Ingrams get a complete refab um, with just a ton of new gear, um, you know, new everything. So it essentially just allows us to, uh, you know, kind of put a reset button on all the cosmetic stuff and, and, and just get new stuff, get new weapons, get new gear, um, get new uh, shaders, all that different kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think the the really big focus is keeping the hardcore players invested. Right. Um, I know we know a couple people that, I mean, they've been 305 for quite some time, and they have no reason to play this game any longer. That's me. Uh, because they're just, they're not being, yeah, I mean, they're not being held by Destiny. Um, they're, they're not... Or not Destiny, pardon me, Bungie. Um, Bungie's just not holding people's attention if you play this game hardcore. And I think that was one of the biggest things that kept a lot of people away from Destiny 1 on a long-term basis is it seems like they just really did not invest a whole lot of time or, I, I guess, monetary respect um, towards the players that had been through the most with them. Uh, I know when... Uh, I think it was the uh, the Taken King came out. Uh, they got a lot of uh, they got a lot of grief because they were charging less to, to new players than they were to players that had been playing for a long time. Right. Uh, so you know it was the same price for the full game that it was for that DLC for for those folks. So um, I know they've kind of they've come under some some pretty heavy uh, flack in the past for not taking care of their people that have been around for a while. And I'm I'm hoping that this is their effort to keep the long-term players invested for as long as they can. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, you know, like you said, you're, you're at 305, and you're pretty well stuck there. And, I mean, we, we know a couple people that they have multiple accounts, not multiple accounts, pardon me, multiple characters, all at 305, and they got nowhere else to go. Right. Um, powerful gear just makes no sense to them. Yeah, that's kind they've of... Because they've yeah, already capped out. Honestly, that's kind of where I am at. I have one more character to go, but... Um, there's no real reason for me to kind of keep grinding, I guess, or anything really specific to get, um, because I've, I've got it all. I'm, I'm set, uh, you know, uh, like you said. Now, um, interestingly enough, you know, to your point, um, they've done quite a few things that are actually going to try to help balance uh, that whole issue of, you know, new players and really new clans. Um, so clans are actually going to be resetting, um, 
their uh, experience and everything, their levels are going to reset at the beginning of new seasons. The whole point of this was to um, really allow new clans to come in and, and be on the same playing field and have the same recruiting ability uh, as clans that have already been well established, which is pretty cool. Interestingly enough, um, the clan, the bonuses, the perks that we see, they're going to be lined up uh, and they're going to be new. So you're going to see them um, you're going to see them all change. The perks that we're normally seeing right now are going to be a little bit different. I'm sure some of them will be the same, uh, but we'll see some of them be a little bit different. And it's all going to really line up um, with a little bit of conjecture. It's really going to line up probably with what uh, kind of the raid and the focus of the raid for that season is going to be. So um, pretty interesting with that. I thought that was a great idea. Um, up on screen at some point throughout the rest of this video, um, I am going to show some of uh, the new gear off. So they are, they did say for season two, they're going to be bringing Iron Banner back um, with a little bit different flavor to it. Um, obviously some new stuff on it, which is pretty cool. Um, the nice thing with this is that uh, we're going to see that uh, now in the next Iron Banner, instead of just having to rely purely on luck uh, and Engrams to get weapons, you're going to be able to buy specific weapons uh, from Lord Saladin directly, which was probably my biggest complaint from the last time they did the Iron Banner uh, this iteration. Um, just for the sole fact that I really tried to get that auto rifle, that's pretty much the only type of weapons that I use, and I just I came up flat because I couldn't get it. I, my luck wasn't good enough, and it just never popped for me. So, um, And then with that, obviously we're going to get new gear, Again, new shaders, and all, all, basically all the cosmetic stuff that we would expect to see um, with just kind of a rehash or, or a new version of what we uh, have seen previously. Yeah, that, that the change to the Iron Banner is the biggest thing that that really bothers me about a lot of a lot of things that you kind of cash in. Um, it's it's just so random, and they're really trying to push that RNG to get you to keep playing the game. And I understand that, but it's frustrating. And you're absolutely right. I mean, I was lucky enough to get that assault rifle, and I love that thing. It's great. I use it constantly. But if you weren't lucky enough to get it, I mean, you know, what what are you gonna do? Uh, there's you just have no recourse. Um, it, you know, those those items or those those coins kind of took a long time to to earn. Mm -hmm. And if you're not getting what you want after you played four consecutive matches, getting all wins, and you get a chance for one item and you don't get it. That's frustrating because that's a lot of time you invested into basically getting nothing out of it. Yep. Um, the the I mean, you know, it's it's less of a thing because it's it's more of a long term kind of idea. Um, Banshee forty four has a uh, he has a scout rifle that I really really want, and I've cashed in over four hundred weapon uh, gunsmith parts trying to pull that that scout rifle. And I can't do it. Um, you know, what else am I going to do at that point? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of just spinning my wheels and just not getting lucky, and I'm getting punished for, for a lack of luck. Yep, yep that's exactly what... Uh, I think that's what a lot of the community complaint was about, and I think that's why they did what they did um, and made those changes specific to Lord Saladin uh, and specific to the event that we're going to see back. Um, so, I, And I agree. Like I said, I, I was in that boat. I wish I could have gotten it. I didn't. And I almost kind of got to the point where I turned in so many um, packages that I just, I was like, you know what? I I don't want to play this RNG game anymore. I don't want to grind this. You know, I wasn't the biggest fan of the game mode. And so I, I kind of just lost it. I even went and I, I, I turned in, I think, 12 total maybe. Um, enough to get, you know, the, the, you know, I guess the top tier reward from it. And that wasn't even really that good. That's an emblem. Well, I've got better emblems. I've done harder things <laughs> in this game. I'm not going to put that on, to be honest. So I was a little even disappointed with that. So it's nice to hear them listening, modifying things, um, you know, tuning things, and, and making the adjustments for the next season. Uh, speaking of which, they did talk about how seasons are going to align with major, um, I guess, updates weapon balancing, and things like that, although they're going to continue to do those throughout the seasons as well, but we'll see uh, the dynamic shifts, and that makes sense. We see that in any game that does that, especially when it brings in uh, new weapons with new perks, or the same weapons with different perks uh, to, to modify those and balance everything. Um, 
So uh, I think that's a, a smart move, and again, we see that in a lot of other games. So seasons will correspond with, with big updates and balance changes, uh, but they'll do the minor ones that are you know necessary throughout the seasons as well, which is pretty good. Um, it, it's just a ton. It sounds like we're... I feel like we're talking at rapid pace, but there was just a ton of stuff at TwitchCon. There's a ton of stuff from the panel that they released and talked about. Um, and I'm sure we're still missing a lot. So we're going to continue to kind of roll through down the list. Um, but those were the mostly the big things that stood out to me. There is going to be a new um, thing for specific gear called ornaments. Uh, it's essentially going to be like um, you'll pick up the gear itself, but then that gear will have a challenge associated with it, will then, which will then... Uh, give it some type of special ornament on it, which is kind of cool. That rewards you sticking to a specific piece of gear. I know I've got some favorites, um, and I'm sure Sloth, you have some as well. So that's kind of neat that we'll be able to do some challenges and get some specific things for that. Um, what else was there? Clarion Calls was the other big thing, um, which was a, kind of a specific thing. That they were going to try to do um, kind of like specific missions uh, the first one's going to be focused on doing things with your clan, and the rewards are going to be different for each of them when they do them, uh, but they're all based around getting your team, getting people back in, into the team mentality, and, and just playing together. I think the first one was double experience, was what they talked about, um, kind of aligning with hopefully the new uh, stuff for the Bright Engrams, which is going to include, again, new emotes, new everything. Um, all of which, interestingly enough, you won't be able to get anything from Season 1 anymore. Um, and uh, Season 1 rewards really stick into just Season 1, which, um, you know, new players, I'd be a little upset if I was a new player, although at the same time, you kind of reward those people that have been loyal to you uh, and loyal to Destiny since the game came out, which is a delicate balance, but I think they're kind of doing it right in that, in that aspect. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that. I, I'm I'm usually a little bit more annoyed when... When I mean, it's you. You have no reward for playing the game consistently, right. um, and and I'm okay with that. You know, it's 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 like uh, I think Halo Five is probably a good example, um, or I mean, even Rocket League. You know, you you have those season rewards mm -hmm. that you can't get later on. Um, that you know, you only were able to pull if you played in that season, and I think it's a nice little reward. Yep, I think that's a smart way to do it. A smart way to put it too. Um, and like you said, it, it, it definitely rewards the people that have been in the game, uh, you know, since the beginning and are consistent with it, which goes back really to our, our original point of probably why they're doing this. We want some consistency with the fan base. They want some consistency with, you know, people staying engaged with the game. And that's a great way to do it. Do the seasons, bring new stuff in, you know, modify what the best weapons are, balance everything else that might have been out of balance. And, uh, and just keep the game fresh, which is a good way to do it. And I, I'm i actually a big fan. I was kind of a little bit disappointed when I heard that some of the stuff was going to be coming back. Um, but at the same time, seeing some of the new equipment, seeing some of the new gear has actually been really neat. Um, and uh, and I'm excited to see you know faction rallies come back. I'm excited to see the Iron Banner come back, actually, now that they've modified it. Uh, I'm sure we'll get a different game mode and... Um, we also will be getting a new season map as well. So season two, new multiplayer map will be coming in, uh, which is pretty cool. On top of that, I'm gonna punch that guy in the face a couple times, kill him. Now I'm gonna run away. Just keep punching, man. Just keep punching. That's about the only way I've been able to kill anybody this game so far. It's because I'm just too focused <laughs> on everything that's going on, all the things that I have to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I know we've said it before. It but it's so hard to like talk about stuff and formulate what you're going to say and have a somewhat intelligent discussion and play at the same time. There's just so much focus. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. I was actually just scrolling through the list. I think in some roundabout way, we've covered just about everything uh, that's that's new. So sorry, it was a little disjointed. Sorry, it was a little uh, kind of all over the place. But um, like we talked about at the beginning, there was just a ton of stuff that they revealed, that they discussed, uh, and that they talked about. 
uh, at TwitchCon, which is actually really cool. I think that's a neat uh, venue. I've actually never watched TwitchCon. Uh, I've never watched any coverage for it. You know, obviously the the bigger stuff always gets coverage, and there's always a lot of news that comes out of it. But for them to kind of be supporting uh, Twitch and you know that streaming community uh, is pretty cool too. So I'm glad they did it. Glad we finally got some info on it. Happy to hear about it. And yes, I did finally kill that guy. Um, but like I said, just a ton of stuff, ton, ton of, ton of new info, and I'm sure absolutely sure based on that that we're going to also hear um, you know more details come out um, you know as things unfold the one thing I kind of wish they would have talked about would have been the time or the length of the seasons um, obviously it probably lines up with some DLC it lines up with uh, you know some different things like that but I'd also like to kind of hear what their thoughts on how far they were going to let them last. Interestingly enough, season one is at least going to run long enough to introduce uh, the Iron Banner, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, factions again to allow all those folks on PC that just joined, uh, which just released a couple days ago, um, they're going to allow them to be able to get in and get all of the season one rewards uh, and items as well. So if there is anything you are missing from the season, um, you know, be sure to stay tuned to the game, be consistent with it, and uh, you uh, might have one more chance to pick up some of that gear that you might have missed. And for me, for me, that's going to be the Iron Banner Assault Rifle. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, the that's that's the one thing that I'm, I'm really glad that they're doing, is they're, they're giving a little bit more time for the PC players to jump in. Uh, because, you know, I, I talked about, like, I, I'm cool with the exclusivity over, you know, playing for the period of time and supporting the game and being a part of it all. The one thing I do not appreciate is the exclusivity based on what platform you play on. Um, we've seen that a couple times with Sony doing some things with Call of Duty, actually originally Xbox doing some things with Call of Duty. Um, I, I don't like that you know a specific console um, or platform period has to wait for an extended period of time more so than others uh that, that's just i don't know i i get that that's a that's a ploy um especially in the console market not really much on pc uh and this game is not really kind of what i'm talking about but uh i, I get that that's that's a ploy to sell a bunch more consoles but let us all play um let us be on, a, on an even playing field we'll pick whatever console we're going to play on based on where our friends are um and I, th I think that's what it should be based on. Yeah, you're striking a nerve with me with the whole Call of Duty, Xbox, PlayStation, exclusivity <laughs> thing, so I, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut on that one. But I do agree, and like I said, I think it was a smart well, move. And... <laughs> I think it was just a smart move for them to consider the PC players. Yeah, and I mean, it's and it's not just because we're salty, because we're we're not going to get that DLC super quick. Because um, I remember in Modern Warfare 2, we talked about how dumb it was that the PC or that the uh, PlayStation players were not getting it as early. Because um, Xbox, actually, they started that fight. Um, they kind of, you know, I'm sure they thought they were brilliant with it um, by, you know, kind of paying these devs a lot of money to, to get their, their DLC out first. But, but it's just, I don't know. I, I don't think we need that division uh, in the console war kind of thing. Uh, I agree. Not sure how I didn't kill that guy. I'm really playing pretty bad, so I'm glad this match is over. And uh, luckily we got all that info out, so... Um, disregard the gameplay, but enjoy all of the details. And uh, and yeah, like I said, just a ton of stuff coming. We'll keep you guys up to date with all the the new news that we get uh, and everything that else that they you know officially publish and talk about. And like I said, hopefully soon... Um, I do hope to hear kind of um, just a timeline, just when we can expect season one to end, when we can expect season two to kick off. Um, like I said, throughout the video, you've seen screenshots of a lot of the different stuff that they're bringing in. Um, we'll post some links down below to a couple articles that you can check out as well. Read through it probably in a little bit more uh, concise fashion than we were talking about it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, ton of stuff coming and uh, glad we could get some news out and uh, cover it for you guys. So um, as always, Doc and Sloth, Average Gamer Guys, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with us for just a few minutes of your day and checking this video out. If you're new and you really enjoy Destiny, 
make sure to subscribe, follow us. Uh, we post this pretty often. We post every weekly new event. We do nightfall uh, strike guides, and uh, I think Sloth's going to be working some trials uh, here shortly, some tips and tricks for that as well. So stay tuned for all that stuff as well as all the news. And, uh, and uh, yeah, just thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.